instead of Rachel's Yeti, you could have a Stanley Cup. Oh, a Stanley Cup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the the ones, the big ones with the straws. I don't know why those seem very impractical to lug around. I have around. a Stanley, actually. I have a Stanley that's a um, that I can take to uh, breweries as a you know like a growler. That's a Stanley. Oh, well, I was. Well, well. It's not a cup. Uh, right. yeah, I have a Stanley that's a like a jug. Yeah, it's mine's like a big. Mine's jug. a big one. Somebody gave to us. Yeah, yeah. so we take it with but us. I I've like looked up ones. some of the particulars about why they're popular. Why are they so yeah, special? So... What's the difference between Stanley and Yeti? Okay. Why sure. does every why influencer actually follow on Instagram I have a Stanley cup? Yeah, it's a mom. It's a it's a well mom and kid thing. Yeah, got to have a Stanley <sighs> cup, a Lulu a Lululemon belt bag. I don't know. No, you need a, a low lay bag because that's what you buy at Costco. Low lay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, well, and don't wear it as a fanny pack. Put it over your shoulder to yeah. pretend like we all don't know it's a fanny pack. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to Due to Underwhelming the Band with Dave, Rachel, and Foreman, the podcast that really, really, really doesn't try too hard. There's no. just no point. No, you know why? Because you can tell when people are trying too hard. Exactly. So we just mm-hmm. don't. Yes. Never try, never fail. Yes, exactly. don't set the bar too high. Yeah. Win, win. Never. That's right. <laughs> My motto, I yeah. taught you guys very, very well. I'm, yeah. very, I'm proud of you. True. Proud That's of true. you. Yeah. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's begin this podcast with uh, Charmin. You know, the toilet paper people. Oh. Because. because. Cha-cha-cha, Charmin. Is that it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> no. Charmin spent yeah. five years working on a redesign of their toilet paper square. Really? Mm-hmm. What needs to be redesigned about the square? <laughs> Have you ever? Okay. Okay, well, this How is where. How many ways can you create a square? Yes. yes. Well, here's the thing. Turns out, just one. I know it's a personal thing when you're uh, in the bathroom, but. Let's say we're all there right now. Have okay. you ever picture it grabbed a few squares of toilet paper and been frustrated because 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 the toilet paper didn't tear away in a nice neat line? Have you ever had that happen? Yeah, it's happened. Yeah. Are you about to sell us a slap job? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I Although mean, it, it does bother sound me. Like I am, you know what does it? bother me is the toilet paper when you first have to start it, the new roll, mm. and it sticks to the, it's stuck down, right? And so yeah. you have yeah. to, and then it rips like two layers or one and a half, and that annoys me. So it's like me. glued, and then you have like three or four wraps and then around where it's just ripping halfway out. through. Yes, you're like, <laughs> where is all this coming from? Well, you need to, I don't need this much. Yeah. Yes, I have you, so much here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you need to talk to the Charmin people. And maybe they could fix that problem for you. But okay. they didn't. They didn't work on that one. Oh, the one problem we immediately identified. <laughs> yes, that, still that, exists. that should be the no problem they worked on. It doesn't yeah. bother them I'm, at all. Apparently, too much glue, guys. Yes, too much glue. That's right. Charmin says they got a lot of complaints about toilet paper not tearing clearly along the perforation. So they had their team look into it. And it that took has them. It almost took them. literally never been a problem. <laughs> it's not really something that I concern myself with. Uh, I, I think what? when that Who happens. Cares? Well, I think when that happens, I just sort of go, oops. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah, whatever. That's, that's going to suck. Like for it the... tore in the middle of the square. I don't yeah, care. That's, that's going to suck for just the next take guy. Take what you need and move on. Grabs. It's not very neat looking hanging from the roll now. Maybe I better no. fix that. Or, you know, it's more work for me when that happens. But I don't really care that much. I don't care. Just no. leave it there. Well, Who anyways, cares? so it took them. <laughs> the team looks into it. So they must have had meetings and they must Five have done research. Five years they researched they, this. They figured out that the uneven tear was because the line in your square of toilet paper yeah. was straight uh-huh. but people pull from a lot of different angles and directions think about how okay uh, uh how you uh, think about how you uh, poop for a second okay don't okay are you done mm. okay uh yeah. for that, <laughs> feeling it smelling it <laughs> oh god it's all happening okay. <laughs> oh my god that's what i thought the only time it, it's gonna tear differently i feel like is if it's it, pe- the people who put it under 
you got to put the roll over so it's coming over. Oh, no, if you're under, if you're that. going uh, under, I think you're going to tear differently. No, like, you're not. Unless it's public washroom yeah. toilet paper, this is almost is never a problem. No. It usually just tears on the line. Yes. Well, public washroom toilet paper, yeah, is awful. Yes. Because it doesn't tear very well at all. Because it's literally paper. Yeah, I not don't that think the, that's perforated n- at all. Not, not that the other stuff isn't paper, but it's certainly not Charmin. Yeah. Well, Charmin right. is the best. It's the thickest, and it, it's it's what I would normally go for. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is a sales pitch. What well, are you guys getting paid? Told me to, somebody what told me this? once, don't cheap out on toilet paper. And then once I stopped cheaping out on toilet I'm like, yeah, you're right. Don't do that. Okay. Up or down, it doesn't matter whether it's over <laughs> or under. I don't know why. I, think it does. I, don't, I don't know why anybody is concerned with that. But anyway. So they worked on a redesign. It took them more than five years. God, it's um, like it's like a whole group of people at Charmin who are just like, we have to justify why we still work here. Yes, how better tedious exactly. would this exactly. have been if you're working on this? How anyway, tedious is that? They just announced, and I love this, the <laughs> end result. Uh, okay. Because end makes sense in all of this. Yes. A lot yeah. of workplace hours, uh, Charmin employees on their right phones, up. sitting on the toilet. Yes, that's right. <laughs> at that we workplace. Are at, we are at the butt end right. of our project. <laughs> We've figured it out. Okay. They have created a new toilet paper called Smooth Tear. Instead of a straight line, it's a wavy perforation, which means each piece is no longer a square. That's a significant change to toilet paper. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, my, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's my reaction to. Let yeah. me guess. They want us to pay extra for. Yeah. It. I'm like, if this costs five I don't bucks know. more, I'm not buying it. I don't know. I don't um, care. I don't, I don't know. care if this is uh, like that. Doesn't bother me. That doesn't. No. That's not what bothers me that's about toilet not paper. Not a feature that needed reinvention. Yeah. The smooth tear. No. How tedious would your job be if for five God. years you're trying to figure out how to make the tear of toilet paper better? Sounds like five I mean, years. Charming. Yeah. You should have tried to make it last 10 years. Good God, what do these people do now? These are people that probably researched this. Well, they, they couldn't make people. any more double so, or triple you know, rolls because they when, don't fit on the things. When, right? you're, <laughs> the holders. when you're pooping and you reach for the toilet paper, how do you do that? We need to know because we're coming up with smooth tear. Right. I Look, I... I I don't really care about most of this stuff. Right. But I feel like this is one of those things that's going to drive uh, really, really, uh, you know, the, the, the really, really right wing people crazy because they hate change. So I. Um, <laughs> oh, it's woke toilet paper. Yeah, it's woke toilet paper is what this is. <laughs> no, and that's when it's left wing. If you're yeah. woke, you're left wing. Well, yeah, but the toilet paper is, I think, woke. You know, and and I oh, I see okay. And I, I, yeah, so I love change the, in general is woke. I love yes. the, I yeah. love the, I love yeah. the term woke because what woke means to me is I am aware. Yes, I am awake or open just, to new things. I am aware. I'm sure. just so generally this, paying attention to the right. world around me. That's right. So <laughs> this to me is woke toilet paper, which makes me very happy. Because it's going to piss <laughs> off so many people. It's I already pissed this. me off. I see. See, I love it. And I feel like I am came, woke. You came for my M and M's, and now you're coming for my toilet paper. Yeah, I know. I back know. off. Oh, okay. just leave it alone. Well, we know where you Solve stand. Solve the problem everybody else wants fixed. I, we know Not where, too much glue. We know where you're standing, then, Rachel. Okay, <laughs> all right. Unless your toilet paper is on the other side of the room, and you're literally lunging off the toilet, yeah, <laughs> to tear, it. tear it. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Like if you only have one hand, it's maybe so, you're maybe so you lost a hand and you only have one. Maybe so that's dumb. why. It's so that's dumb. when this. <laughs> dumb. It's dumb. It's <laughs> really sick. That's the Don't laugh. Thing. That could be somebody's life, Gorman. A mouth full really of beer. Dumb. This is due to underwhelming demand. The podcast with Dave, Rachel, and Foreman. The podcast that's. <sighs> it's like wearing pants for the first time in five months. Slightly uncomfortable and not kind a lot. Kind of a downer. And, and not a lot of fun. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and a lot tighter than they used to be. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I love this time of year. Too many hot dogs this summer. That's right. <laughs> too many hot dogs. Oh, God. Too much has, junk food. Who has too many hot dogs? <laughs> uh, well, now that we've talked hot, about- Hot, hot dog summer. Yeah. Hot yes, dog summer. Right. Rachel's hot dog summer. <laughs> Next episode. <laughs> now that we've talked about uh, every, you that's know, why there's a drone over the pool. Just watching, 
Oh my just god, don't down say that. Hot dog summer. Scarfing down. Uh, Scarfing down. Is that dog. Joey oh Chest? No, god. it's just Rachel. <laughs> Scarfing down another wiener. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The buttons. I'm yeah. gonna be. I'm gonna choke because I'm. Uh, I'm so sick and coughing. Okay. What were okay. you gonna say? Now that we <laughs> talked about, you know, everybody poops. Uh, everybody sleeps, or do they? Do you suffer like I do? <laughs> <laughs> too many hot dogs will keep you up at night. Yeah, that's it will. right. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Might put you in the bathroom too. Uh-huh. Uh huh. From do you suffer from revenge bedtime procrastination? I now, don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know. You don't know what that is. Uh, I'm not. Now sure. we're really getting woke. Yeah. Here. Now we're really woke. <laughs> revenge bedtime. Well, this is my whole life. I feel like once I learned what this was and that this is a thing, I was like, yes, that's me, and I do it every single night. Revenge bedtime procrastination is when maybe you ha- you're you so busy in the day and so you don't have a lot of time for yourself. So then you decide to essentially delay sleep uh, so that you have some free time to, I don't know, scroll your phone, watch a movie, you're staying up late, binging something, uh, whatever, you're, whatever you want to do. You're just going to take time for yourself to relax. This is kind of in response to having stress all day or just being very busy and not having any time to do what you want to do. So instead, you stay up too late doing all the things you want to do, and then you don't get enough sleep. Yes, and then you get you get up the next day and you, you complain to everybody that you know, especially that you're may, tired. Maybe uh, maybe your spouse, yeah, I'm tired. I'm yeah. in a bad mood and I'm tired. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you just come to bed? Because I needed to look after myself. Yes. Because the best part of the day is putting the kids to bed, That's watching dumbest. my favorite show, and getting a snack. That's what I want to do. <laughs> That's so. Yes, That's but what I, I want to do. Well, I, I want everybody that. to leave me alone, and I want to binge watch something and have a snack that I okay. like that I don't have to share with the kids. And then the next day, when you're miserable and tired and everything, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna take it out on everybody close to you constantly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're a, It's my you're, whole life. That's you're my a, whole you're cycle a, of life. That's what a, I do almost every night. You are a treat. This this is why waking up so early in the morning to do the morning show was was like horrific for me because I would do this, you know, or I would try and go to bed early. But then I'm frustrated because I didn't I felt like I was missing out on something or I didn't get to do what I wanted to do or, you know, whatever. So now that I know this is actually a thing because mm. I've been doing this since I was born, I'm you inv- pretty you sure. In- you invented this because I remember when we worked together and you did struggle and always struggled with the early morning hours. Yeah. But then yep. you were, and you were trying to figure out ways to do it, but you would you would go, well, uh, I try to get to bed by uh, like nine, but that means at 8.30, I have to start preparing to, to go to bed. And I, yeah. and I said, what, what do you mean? You have to wind down. You know, go wash your face, brush your teeth, get ready, get into bed, set the alarm, you get your jammies on or whatever. Not in that order. Get my jammies on before I get into bed. But whatever. You got to wind yourself down. Does your does your husband wind himself down? Uh, No. Jeremy just goes to sleep and then he's out. And yeah. he always does that. Oh, we have a, look, we have a special guest on the podcast yes. today. I've summoned because I didn't realize what this was, and now I know exactly what it is, and I've summoned an expert that can help you, Rachel. Oh. Okay, who's my expert? Oh. Her name is Ashley. Ashley. Oh, Ashley's going to help Mrs. Foreman. Out. Ashley's going to help Mrs. Out. Foreman has joined the podcast. All right. Oh, Hi, Ash. Nice to see you. Hi, guys. Nice Hi. To, nice to chat with you. How's it going? Good. Yeah. We're we're talking about revenge bedtime procrastination. This is my whole life where I will, I don't have enough time for myself in the day. So at night, I will watch my shows. I'll scroll my phone. I'll just get binge watching. Just one more episode, right? And then you, you stay up too late because you want time for yourself. Oh, yeah. Do you do that? Um, sometimes. I regret it after. I mean, you scrolling my phone that gets away from me, but the yeah. episodes and stuff like I'm pretty good at getting to bed. I actually go to bed earlier than Andrew sometimes. Well, then does he See? do it? At your, is he the one? <laughs> she still does that and goes to bed. Wow! Oh, he I can't. managed to do both. Okay, so the key is what a dichotomy. The kids go to bed super early. And yeah, if you can't tell time. It doesn't matter, right? They have no idea. Right well, now, so, mine can, yeah. which kind of sucks. Have, that's true. We just have races of who can get which one in bed earlier. Oh. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a, a good, good idea. idea. That's a good idea. Kendall yeah. would lose every time. <laughs> every time she would lose that race. Yeah, but yeah, but then can. you have a then you got your then you have your me time. 
Right. And when you go to bed, uh, Ashley, do you have to prepare yourself to go to bed or you just jump into bed and fall asleep? Oh, no. I fall asleep like instantly. My yeah, head hits so the pillow I. and I'm asleep yeah. before. I will fall uh, asleep quickly, like once I actually shut everything off, but I don't <laughs> shut her down very quick. <laughs> I'm scrolling my phone or I'm watching a wow. show. Yeah. Just, you know. Doing no. whatever I want. And Foreman's uh, the guy that's got to get up at the, you know, before the crack of dawn, because that's when you have to get up when you do your well, your morning Foreman, radio program. Don't you and, stay up and, late, though? No, he can't get to sleep. Oh, he does. He stays up late, and then he falls asleep on the couch, and then he complains, and he comes to bed. Then he gets up early in the morning, then he's complaining then, then he's dropping things. Like, the whole house is awake every time he has anything to do with sleep. Yes, and you yes, yelled yes. at me for using the blender every morning. Didn't wake up a oh, soul God. in my house. No, Foreman's you... like an elephant, a bull in a china shop in his. Yes, and he drops something, and then it's not even, like, <laughs> the thing that he dropped. It's his reaction after for five minutes about, oh, my God, he dropped something. Like, oh, okay, we know. We, we're all awake now. <laughs> Shut up, Foreman, and go to work. Exactly. Just get out. Get out now. I love this. I love how this oh is just Oh, my turned, gosh. Turned, it's a very it revealing can't... look at Foreman. Yes. And, uh, I and already... it's not, once it's from not his perspective, then we get the truth. Well, you know? I, I love that I like you. It. I love that you uh, are so wired, Rachel, that you can't go to bed. I mean, I don't. I don't get well, that. once I once I turn everything off, that because I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm up late every night. I don't get enough <laughs> sleep. So once I shut it off, I do go to sleep. But I'm staying up late because all I want to do when the kids go to bed is watch my shows and have a snack alone uh -huh. with uh -huh. no children. Uh -huh. Snacks are key. Yes, snacks I want key. the snacks that I'm not feeding my kids. Yes. I'm eating those without them. That's my whole thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have a solution to this, or is it? No, I just did. So once the, I learned you it was just a thing. I, you bye bye, bye Ash. <laughs> Our special uh, guest is leaving. Yeah. Once I've learned this was a thing, I was like, "That's me." I can't believe I. There's more people like this, and it's not just me. Okay. So what does that mean? Does well, that mean you're going to? Who else does this? Does it, oh, you yeah, gonna... I can't stop. I'm why. Free. I'm stop. 40 years old. I'm, it's a habit. Stop. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop. I can't stop. Why not? No, I'll just continue with my life, not getting enough sleep and staying up oh, late. Okay. Well, if that's what you, know. you want. That's that's so that's like, you know, like I no. know what the problem is. I'm, I know how to fix it, but I just won't. I have 40 years I am old. I'm unwilling. I'm 40 years old and I smoke. I'm not going to quit. Why would I quit? <laughs> yeah. I'm the payoff 40. for me is that I get time alone. Uh -huh. That's your that's your alone time all night long. Yes. Yeah. But I'm sleeping. I want to enjoy it while I'm awake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're weird. Should I have regretted what I just did with Ashley? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yes. Now we know the truth. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me you did that. No. no I said, she can't does get that, but, she, but that's why she's the expert, because she does exactly that, but then she still goes oh. to bed at 9.30, goes like, to bed? no matter what. Right. Oh, Janet, and then I stay up and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll stay up. And I last like 10 minutes and then I'm asleep. <laughs> Janet, uh, Janet just says I'm going to bed. And then, you know, within, I don't know, it, less than five minutes, I go and I look and she's like on her side asleep. Yeah. Like, I, so but no, Jeremy. I, Jeremy's I, like, well, I'm done. Yeah, that's Stretch, what I do. Stretch, turn over, and I'm like, okay. That's what I do. I just go, I I go to bed, and uh, I How might watch TV. How lovely that there's two of you the just... same in the house, Whew. Dave. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a bed. This is Due to Underwhelming Demand, the podcast brought to you by Murphy Bus Lines. Thank you, Murphy Bus Lines, for uh, believing in our little podcast. Yeah. You can drive one of those buses. They have jobs available, and they are sweet. They need drivers, so it's perfect for retirees, you know, people who are maybe part-time workers, maybe stay-at-home moms, maybe if you're a mom that drives your kids to school anyway, maybe you'd like to just take them on the bus and take a bunch of other kids with you. Because you could, because you get all the school holidays off, so you'd be off with the kids, you get weekends off, all this the whole summer, and all of that, um, and they will teach you how to drive and help you get your license. So even if you don't know, because who knows how to drive a bus just randomly, you don't, mm, I but do. they'll help you. I you do because do. yes, because and here's the thing: when uh, when you fill out an application, by the way, for Murphy Bus Lines, if you're interested in becoming a driver, tell them Rob Murphy sent you. Okay, All right. give Rob Murphy a shout out. Uh, Rob actually uh, brought a school bus to the old radio station, which was out on Wellington Road South. That that hellhole that we worked in. 
That which labyrinth. Was, that which labyrinth. Is for which, sale again, by the it's way. It's always for sale. I don't know why anybody would buy that. Just, uh, tear the building down, for God's sake. Yeah, it's prime <laughs> real estate, but it's location. maybe not the building. Location, yeah. location, location. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I was working with uh, a woman whose name was not Rachel at the time. <laughs> and uh, uh, she that doesn't do... quite narrow it down mm-hmm. that, that much. Well, <laughs> it narrows it down a little bit. And uh, we were wanting to do videos, and uh, so uh, the idea was, well, let's drive a school bus. And Rob Murphy said, "Sure, I'll teach you." So he brought a bus, and he uh, he taught both of us how to drive uh, a oh. school bus. So it's doable if I can do it. You can't really can go very far in that parking lot. No, we uh, we went across the road as we always do, Rachel, to the tourist information bureau. <laughs> Right. Oh, I see. There's lots of room there. Yeah, they have a bigger yeah. parking There's lot. more yeah. room there. That's right. Yeah. Well, but Rob all right. Well, me. Rob Murphy could teach you too how to drive mm-hmm. a school bus. Yeah, I don't London, London. Well, there's Middle no cares. Like it says here, you you, you, you know, give right, tell them Rob sent you, but I don't know whether Rob will give you a, you know, a bus lesson. I'm not sure about that. If well, you get me, you get Rob Murphy, you're pretty lucky. <laughs> he's like the king of the buses out there. I know. Yeah. yeah, well, they're going to help you get your license. And so if you're anywhere, if it's you're in the city or Middlesex, Oxford, Huron, Perth counties, maybe you're affected by all the auto workers being on strike and your plant that you work at is really slowing down or starting to lay off people. Could be, yeah. This yeah there you go. Perfect. This might be a great job for you. Go to murphybus.ca or you can give them a call 1-877-289-6507. Just rewind that back so you can... Hear that Hear it number again. again. Hear Seven, it again. Murphy oh, bus. Five, six, nine, eight, two, seven, seven, eight, one. There it is. There it is. Murphy <laughs> This is Murphy bus. It was Tell pretty, them. it was backwards. Yeah, I know. Okay. You did it backwards. Tell them Rob sent you. Okay. This is due to underwhelming demand. <laughs> It's a podcast. It's yes, a podcast. It, it sure Dave is. Dave Rachel and Foreman. Dave Rachel Foreman. And it pairs perfectly with just about any alcoholic beverage. <laughs> just ah, perfectly. Just in yes. time as we enter the holiday season. That's right. And the more the more of that alcoholic beverage that it pairs with that you imbibe, the better we sound. Yeah, the I'm less just, underwhelmed you. you'll be. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Maybe we right. should do a show where we, well, you guys do already drink throughout the whole show, so never mind. Yeah, never like, mind. Uh, I don't even finish one. No, neither do I. <laughs> if I you would like to one. take part, if you agree to take part at some point, maybe for the festive holiday season. We yes. should, yeah, for that one. I had a, my friend who does listen, she said, you never drink. They're always drinking. You never drink. I said, well, I'm. it's during my work day. Like, I still have things to do. I have things and to do, too. These yoo-hoos don't have anything to do after. I have yoo-hoos? I, what are yeah. you? What's a yoo-hoo? <laughs> I have things to do after. First yeah. thing I'm going to have to do is pee because it's a <laughs> it's a tall boy. But anyway, yes, I have things. This is like <laughs> half a beer a week. So the whole t- when you're saying you guys are always drinking, we just yeah. need to take about twenty percent off there. Yeah, take it back. <laughs> Realize it up. what's really uh, happening. Beep beep beep. Back that yeah. up a bit. Yeah. Then we're busy talking. Now the other half I've of the beer is all warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But are you putting your beer in anything, Foreman? Like, no, but I, I it makes me jealous because Rachel's got this fancy bougie yeti in there, and that yeah. whatever's whatever's bougie. in there, yeah, whether like it's that. straight vodka or water, <laughs> it's honey it's, tea. It's cold or hot. Well, and no, it's staying hot. that way. It keeps it hot, actually. You yeah. got a yeti. Mm-hmm. Is that the one you won for doing all that walking? No, that's a I, that was a white one. This one's purple. I we have a few of them actually because we like them. Rachel, Rachel like almost this. didn't walk at all, but won a Yeti. Dave walked, yeah. you know, 50 kilometers and won nothing. <laughs> we you had know, like every... a walking challenge at work. Were you in on that, Foreman? Or no. Maybe no. you weren't. Anyway, we had a walking challenge. I didn't do a lot of it, but I won the draw. It was yeah. awesome. I, Dave exactly. I was pissed. I was at work when the Mandarin was one of our clients and gave us free swell bottles. And oh, yeah. I still oh, use yes. it every single day. I got mine. Yep. I have mine. That's full Those of coffee. Those are good. I love swell bottles. Oh, it yeah. keeps it hot for hours. It does, yeah. Yeah, yeah but these yeah. are the kinds of cups that got brought up the other day where we were, Ashley and I went on a little road trip of around around the horn of Nova Scotia, as nobody has ever said. But we went from Halifax down the to Yarmouth, okay. Yarmouth, which Yarmouth. is like three hours. And yeah. then you keep going up that coast uh, and then to the Bay of Fundy coast. And you go into the valley and there's Digby and there's Annapolis Royal. And it's all it's wow. lovely. And especially in the fall time, everyone's out picking apples and going to fucking corn mazes and <laughs> having fun old fashioned family fall. OK, are they doing family photos, though? 
Obviously. Yeah. And Did we go you? by this uh, one car wow. and I was and I saw the back win the back window of this one car and I was like, Oh, I'm gonna get you one of those. I'm gonna get you one of those for Christmas. Won't you be happy? Because it's one of those stickers you put on your window. What is but it? instead of the stick family, all it said was mom life. <laughs> mom life. Wow. <laughs> And Ashley's first comment is, don't you ever. No, I don't. Uh-huh. I wouldn't and, want that either. And her second of all comment was, it's not like I'm driving my SUV with my Stanley Cup. And I thought, <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. A Stanley Cup. Yeah. Those what? big Stanley Cups. The, they're, they're not the Stanley Cup, the, not no, the I hockey know. tournament. That's what I thought. Yeah, Why would she of all people make a sports reference? Yeah, a Stanley no. Cup. The no. Stanley Cup is what you uh, what you win when you uh, win the uh, you know, the whole NHL thing. When right. you're too good at or hockey, or if you name uh, things, it's something you wear as a hockey player. Your Stanley Cup, if that's you know what you you know. Because, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you, I see. Because you, mm-hmm. you've got to protect Stanley, Stanley. so it's the right. Stanley right. Cup. Yes. So yeah. I asked, "What do you what? Are, no, what there's are you a third about? kind now. Who oh, is yes. there? Yeah, is there? Yeah. She said, okay. "Well, it's every influencer she follows on Instagram has yeah. a Stanley Cup. What's a Stanley Cup? It's basically, a, the brand is Stanley. Yeah. Oh, and I, the and I immediately people. thought, like you know, power tools. <laughs> yes. Oh, but no, it's no. like Yeti, like they're cut, like they're insulated yeah. mugs. Uh, and uh, once you start, it's a water bottle. The first thing you do when you start Googling Stanley travel mug, it comes right up with the Google previously asked question. What is the craze with Stanley cups? Yes. What is the craze? Everybody has them. They seem because they're humongous. They're probably almost two liters, aren't they? They're at least a liter of water. And and it's it's got a straw and you carry it around with it. It's got a handle on it. So it's not like a yet these that well, some yetis have handles. This one doesn't. It says, in short, Stanley products went viral for their array of adorable and limited edition colors. Their ability to keep water cold for up to two days and convenient cup holder compatibility. Right. Wait a second. It says here as I look this up, they're uh, they're they're the Stanley water bottle, not a Stanley cup. But I love the travel mug. Yeah, I love the term Stanley Cup makes me happy. Yes. But and I, then the next question comes to which is better, Yeti or Stanley? Yeah. And it says with only a slight re- difference in temperature retention during testing, we don't feel one cup rains far superior. Oh. If you're looking for a reputable tumbler to keep your drink's temperature at bay, both will do a great job. If you're looking for a larger option, turn to the Stanley. Right. Okay, like well, wait a minute. These I don't all know have how many ounces are in these cups, but they're humongous. 40 fluid ounces. Wait a minute, so they all have straws. Leader? Do they have straws? Yeah, they yes. do. No not... finicky cap to unscrew, David. They have a sippable straw instead. I'm not drinking my coffee through a straw. That's <laughs> stupid. Yeah, I would have added So bonus. I wondered if they if you could put hot drinks in there, coffee. Yes, I, I of guess... course. Oh yeah, I don't I don't want a straw for my coffee. No, I don't Unless really. Unless it's iced coffee, then I'll have it with a straw. Mm-hmm. Look, if you if you can't negotiate uh, a travel mug, if you get if you spill coffee all over yourself and need a straw coming out of it, then I feel sorry for you. I mean, I don't really well, you don't know. Yeti and it just has a, a slider. It's a yeah, you know, it's it fine. works very well. Yes. So one liter is about thirty three point eight ounces. So forty ounces is over a liter. If you're mm-hmm. trying to get all your water intake for the day, I guess a Stanley Cup's probably a good idea. I don't know. It says it can They're keep your humongous. drink cold for up to 11 hours for the quencher. It will take ice in that cup two days to melt. Okay. Yeah, see, and I... Well, there's a lot of bottles like that now, so... Yeah, Do you sure. like your water uh, ice cold, by the way? Do you like your water that If way? it's hot. If it's hot out, like if it's a hot, hot summer day. Yes. Yeah, like on a Otherwise, hot day. Otherwise, room temperature is fine. For yeah, me. I like. I don't like my water. It's hard to I, draw a drink it, when it's that it, cold. Yeah, that's what yeah, I find. Yeah, you can't yeah. chug it. Yeah, you I can't do. chug it. But if yeah. there's another type, if there's many different types of, you know, an ounce of something and a, a little bit of some other drink that you would like to keep cold in that right. cup, then that makes it handy. Plus, it has a I sturdy guess. handle and it fits seamlessly into any car's cup holder is their major difference. Wow. Okay. Well, there well, that's you go. also good, the cup holder thing, which I guess now, is why they're so big and tall because it holds so much. So they have to be tall because they can't be like, wide. It, it seems so typical of me and maybe Dave, and clearly Rachel, you already knew, that like yeah. this craze has already existed for months and oh, we're yeah. just starting I to hear had about no it. I idea. Just, it's not just moms. It's like tweens and teens. They all have to have that. It's all, it's, you know, you they gotta have, have to have it. It's the have to have. Oh, yes. You got to have that. You got to have your belt bag. 
You gotta have your like your Lululemon uh, belt bag, which no, is a your fanny Lole. pack. You have mm. to. Or it's Lole, be the Costco sure. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it could be the Costco one. You have to wear it over your shoulder because yep. we all don't oh, we know have... that it's really a fanny pack. Yeah, we have that here, actually. <laughs> yeah, we have one of those here. I have like... one of those too. <gasps> yeah. <okay. laughs> Uh, we don't, I have, don't any... have a Stanley Cup. We don't do have, have a Stanley. A, you wore it to the Elderton Fair, didn't you? I did, yeah. Mm. I wore it to the... Because you know why? It's hands-free and it's very convenient. I thought it doesn't you can... hold as much, though. Didn't we find out on a previous episode that you can just put it down your boobs? Yes. <laughs> well, I could, but not my whole wallet. That's yeah. quite large. It yeah. takes ice two days to melt down there. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a Stanley Cup? I'm my own Stanley Cup. Just yes. Jam the straw in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Due to Underwhelming Demand. It's a podcast. Of course, it's a podcast. We're Dave, Rachel, and Foreman. And uh, shout out to our sponsor, Murphy Bus Lines. We appreciate their support. And uh, we sure do. Uh, if you would like to sponsor this, fine podcast you can you can get a hold of absolutely us. we have prices starting at 75 dollars per episode you can email us at dave rachel foreman at gmail.com or message us on facebook or instagram mm -hmm. and we'll we can send you all the information you can look that over and see if it's a good fit for you yeah you're getting you over a thousand ears per episode or no sorry a thousand pairs of ears you're getting over two thousand ears per episode there individual you go. ears yeah. yeah that's right plus we we uh over deliver typically i don't like to say that but you know mm. we, we do over deliver yeah, sure. that's who we are oh yeah. uh, by the way uh i don't know why you would but if you want to you can also buy us a copy Mm -hmm. Sure. Buy us a coffee or buy, sorry, it's buymeacoffee.com slash underwhelming. That's our link, buymeacoffee.com slash underwhelming. And all the money from sponsorship, buying us a coffee or whatever, uh, just helps us keep this going. We're going to have to, we have another subscription we got to pay for soon uh, mm -hmm. and things like that. Just help us keep everything. Rachel's probably got another Southern trip planned. Yeah, that's right. She probably wants Pays to for get... all my vacations. She needs a Stanley <laughs> Cup. Dave's beer that's, tours. That's right. That's right. Buy that's Rachel good. a Stanley Cup. The yeah, last really. person who bought us coffees actually bought five coffees. I don't know the name. Oh. It just says, someone bought five coffees. And Aww. it says, I was thrilled when I learned you were back together. I was so annoyed when Foreman was let go from the show, and it was like he never existed. Terrible management. There. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Thanks for making me laugh. <laughs> okay. uh, well, those are not our words. They again, are uh, someone's words. Yeah. 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 I didn't say that. No. Okay. Nope. Well, uh, I have a comment from uh, Brittany who says, oh, say, similar, I can't believe I didn't know you three were back together again. This is awesome. That's so, a new comment? Yes, that's from about a week ago. No, tell your so, friends. My goodness. I know. Tell your friends that we're we're back together. Uh, you know, it's hard to promote the podcast. So if you can help us by telling your friends, that would be great. Okay. Look, yeah. I love hearing from like, people like Leanne, who, who tagged us in an Instagram story that's just a picture of her uh, out on her deck. It says, sun, tea, book, and some laughs with Dave Rachel Foreman. Oh, I like that. Nice. Thank I'd you. I'd like you to pass on messages like that because if... You know, some of our potential sponsors here are people just discovering we're back together where we haven't made it a secret we're back together. That yeah. doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. To, where are you listening to us? Where do you listen to us mostly? In the car? In the On a road trip? Like, where do you... At work? I have a friend that listens at work or watches, actually, on YouTube. Um, we are on YouTube. All of our videos there if you want to watch our reactions. And Amanda loves it. She says... So funny. This was on episode, oh, I don't even know, 44, episode 44. So funny. Foreman's face when Rachel said president of the canoe club. I'm so glad this is on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably doing it again right now. <laughs> we got to get a picture of you on that oh horse. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, oh, no, oh, yes. No yeah. Christmas time. Yeah, please. Hop on Windsor. Yeah, hop on Windsor. That's it. I want a big smiley picture of you on the horse ready for dressage. <laughs> Fancy prancing. I'm saying nothing on purpose. <laughs>